Hello there. Hello there. This is Mr. Gretzky 9966. Just wanted to show off a few books I picked up. Got from eBay and then just some random CDs that me and my wife had picked up from a site um, called Declutter. So um, here's the... Um, ah, There goes the first book. The first book I'll show you is Fantastic Four... Number 38. So that's Fantastic Four, number 38, with the uh, Frightful Four. On there it says, Defeated by the Frightful Four. So, there's, there's them. On there, and then there's... um. Then there's this one. It is um, too much glare from me. Probably I need to move it over some. But this is um, Action Comics 295 6.0 from um, CBCS. I got this on eBay. Everything it says it's off, off white to white pages. It's um, from 1962, 12 of 62, so December of 62, <coughs> and it's art is by um, Kurt Swan, Jim Maloney, I think it's who the guy is, and George Klein. And then we have covers by Kurt Swan and this guy Forte. Stories by those two guys. I don't know how you pronounce their last names. Dorfman and Bernstein, I guess. Robert Bernstein and Leo, Leo Dorfman. Those are the two guys that um, did that. It's a 6.0. Got a little bit of day. I think somebody wrote on it there. A date stamp of November 62 there, so, but it says 12 of 62, so, I'm wondering if that was December, and back then it came out in November or something, I, it says December, but they have November on there, so I don't know how they did it back then, if November came out before December, because it was on the newsstand, way of getting things you didn't have subscriptions and all that kind of good stuff so that's that part of it the two books that i got and then here is some cds we got my, my wife's got another copy of this one nkotbsb this is the tour we went and saw with the new kids on the block a few years back with um with the backstreet boys only four of the Backstreet Boys were in there. I think the guy Kevin, I think, wasn't there. I think he uh, dropped out at that point. And before that, Backstreet Boys were doing, like, small venues and stuff. They were really weren't doing a whole lot of nothing until the new kids brought them along and boosted their career back up. So that was that one. Then I got the Beatles Anthology di uh, Part 1. Or disc, whatever that is. Um, volume 1 of the Beatles Anthology here. Really, really cool. I got it. I had a copy of it somewhere. I don't know where it's at. So we just bought another one. Probably ran it into the ground. Probably listening to it and all the different things. I'm a huge Beatles fan. And that. Um, here is the Volume 2 of this. Of this. Really, really awesome. Love this. It's in the actual CD thing it came in. I don't know if that one did or not, but this is what they do. Declutter will buy the CDs from people and give them whatever they deem value, the value of it, and then we'll turn around and resell it to you at a good deal. You know, most of the stuff's like at a really good price. They're either on eBay, so you can find them there. So I don't know if their eBay prices are different than their actual store prices, but the thing is, is that they will ship if you have it hooked up, 
for whatever reason, they don't have it. If you order from their store, for some reason, you can't. You can get it switched if you order from eBay. You can change the addresses on there. But if your credit card is hooked up to, say, a P.O. box or something, but you want it shipped to, say, your work or your house or something, it won't. It'll ship it to whatever your credit card is hooked up to. So on their website, for some reason, they, will, they won't be able to. You can't change the shipping address. So if you want to ship it to somebody, you can't do that. For some reason, it won't let you do that, so. But you can do it on the eBay thing, so that's that one. Then we got a second copy, since our copy's messed up, of Billy Ocean's Greatest Hits. Love Billy Ocean. He's one of our favorites, so me and my wife love, love this. And that, get out of my head, jump into my car. Um, Caribbean Queen, Lover Boy, you name it, it's there. Great CD. Then my wife got her favorite CD of Pink Floyd. Is met a momentary lapse of reason. And that's her favorite CD there. I guess she likes it without uh, David, um, whatever the other guy is. The guy that's, um, oh, the guy who's doing the wall tour right now, or was doing the wall tour Gilmore, or David Gilmore, and the other guy. Whoever is the guy it's not on, I can't remember who's on this one. Um, I think it was... Uh, whoever is the guy that does the wall tour thing, that's the guy she doesn't like. I think it's Gilmore she likes, David Gilmore. I think that's the guy she's she likes. And then we got this CD here. It's called I Love Rock and Roll. I guess it has 20 classic cuts, and some of the songs on here are from Roma Palmer, Simply Irresistible, Magic by the Cars, Hit Me With Your Best Shot, Pat Benatar, which she doesn't really care for Pat Benatar, but I can deal with it myself, but then we have 8675309, Jenny. And then we got Missing You, which is an okay song. Freeze Frame by Jay Giles. Poor guy. He passed away last year. And then we have Heart and Soul by Huey Lewis, one of her favorites. Um, Heaven and a Place on Earth, Belinda Carlisle, one of her favorites. Out of Touch, I think that's her favorite Hall & Oates song. There... Voices Carry, by Till Tuesday, Come On Arlene, neither one of us can stand that song. Abracadabra, she loves that one, and I love the remake that was done by, um, oh, Mark McGrath's band, Sugar Ray. Yeah, he did a remake of that one, that was awesome. And then, She's a Beauty, by The Tubes, I actually like that one, she doesn't. Something So Strong. Crowded House. Love Crowded House, actually. Should we... Should have known better Richard Marx. She's a big Richard Marx fan, so she loves that. Suddenly, Last Summer. That was by the Motels. Not a whole lot of a big Motels fan, but love the Stray Cats. I'm a huge Stray Cats fan. Anything Brian does. And that, so, Rock This Town, that's one of my favorites there. The Smithereens, we both can go either way with that. It doesn't really, we really don't care, but it's there. It's there for us. Blondie is good, and Your Mama Don't Dance by Poison. is Poison is one of her favorite bands, and one of her top five favorites for bands and that. So, that's about it. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. The last one. The uh, Metallica Garage, Inc. That is an awesome album. We've been looking for this album forever. Could not figure out for the life of us which album this... That, which some, some of the songs that are on this album were on. Like, um... Let me see here. Tuesday's Gone. They did a lot of, like, um... Covers... I think on this album was all covers. 
turn the page. That's what we were looking for, like, turn the page. Um, and then on disc two, it was, what was the song we were looking for? Well, it should be on there. I don't see it right offhand. Driving me crazy here. Overkill Dern. Crash. Helpless. I thought it was on that one. Maybe it was on the first CD. Whiskey in a Jar. There it is. I'm all going all nuts. So I guess the first disc was basically covers, and I don't know if the second one was covers too. But um, other songs they did or whatever. So that's Metallica Garage. I love those two songs. I love Metallica in general. Um, and that My Wife's More of like Black Album on Up. I like some of their stuff on back, like Master of Puppets. Um, one new album we really love is the um, the uh, S&M album, Symphony and Metallica. I remember when that came out. That was just an awesome album to listen to and everything. We found that at the Goodwill twice, at a Goodwill and then at a garage sale. So my wife got a copy of it and I had a copy. I think I ran my copy into the ground before I even met her a long time ago and that. And we loved, and I've loved it ever since. I love that stuff. I love the Black album. I had a Blackest 2 album they, they did where it was other people um, redid songs from the Black album. Wasn't all that great. I think I ended up getting rid of it at some point. I didn't care for it at the time. So I probably wish I would have kept it, but most of the bands I'd never even heard of and that. So, alrighty, I'll let you guys go. That's all I got for you guys today, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.